On today's show, the future of the crystal pool, the wonders of stinging nettle, and James on the job. This week, he's a grocer. All that and more on Go Island. And welcome to Go Island. We have a knee slap and toe tap and show for you because where are we, Daryl? We are at the Canadian College of Performing Arts. Right here in Oak Bay. And as you wander down Oak Bay Ave, you can hear in the background singing, dancing, music, spectacular energy is just pouring out of, uh, out of the school here. What's going on? Well, we are rehearsing for one of my favorite musicals of all time, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. It's written by the same composers as Guys and Dolls. And the music is just as great, but there is way more laughs in this show. And it is really one of those shows that it just goes by like that. I saw it on, on Broadway, and it was amazing, but I think they're going to do a better job. Why? Because it's CCPA. And we're going to give you a sneak peek of the show. It's uh, opening in two weeks? Uh, one week, one April week. 25 to 27. That's right. Oh, my gosh. So you're going to have to get tickets soon. And why, you ask? Well, we're going to show you. Heather? About six, seven, eight. heading out to uh, do a story on the crystal pool now. It uh, was built 40 years ago, but it's time for a little change. Suchetta Singh has that story. Wow. <laughs> Okay, here's my idea for the crystal pool. Build an outdoor pool. We need more outdoor swimming pools in Victoria. We're here at CCPA and uh, having a lot of fun with their upcoming show, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. And I'm just gonna press the elevator door and see what happens here. Oh, it's the magic of theater. Out comes the set designer. How Jan, are how are you? I'm good, how are you? Excellent, are you gonna show me a few tricks that make uh, this set really funky and cool? Well, you just saw one of them actually yeah, the, right here. The cheesy elevator. The cheesy elevator. And if you turn around behind you, we'll just Turn off the elevator there. She's, she actually controls more lights inside for the elevator, but so it's good fun. Oh, I'm telling you, this this play will just take you up and down and all around. Uh, we're going to talk to Dan in just a moment and show you some really cool set pieces that make this show so outstanding. All right. Amongst other things. Uh, but first, um, stinging nettles. When you hear the word stinging nettle, you might think, ouch, but I think delicious. Uh, and Jen Moran is headed up to the valley to discover the culinary experience that the stinging nettle might give you. So if you want to explore the stinging nettle further, you have to go to the festival. It's this weekend, a lot of fun, very tasty. We're here at CCPA. Uh, the rehearsals are going on right now for how to succeed in business without trying. Um, tell us about the set. All right, well, you're kind of looking at, at our inspiration for the set. I was, I was laying around one day and I thought, what can we do that's really fun and clever and different for the set? And I, I reminded myself that the, of course, the show is about one man reading this book, how to succeed in business without really trying and he ultimately climbs the the corporate ladder and I was thought well that's a, like a rat race really and so then I remembered my childhood days and it's set in the 60s and I remember yeah. in the 60s playing the this trap. game the mousetrap game so the audiences will see parts of the mousetrap game on the stage being used for different things like the slide is used in the mail room for the mail I love mousetrap can you show me how it works I can we have it set up right here okay for you. let's do it so if you recall as a child this was a game we all played yeah wound up the thingy yeah and here we're ready to go and boing mm -hmm. there it goes come on baby do it ah see that always happens with my mom. Oh. <laughs> we have to take a quick break, but stay with us, because when we come back, Dan's talk to me. He's talking about aliens. All 
don't know if I believe in aliens, but I do believe in great theater, especially musical theater. So what show are they rehearsing right now here at CCPA? How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. And you are the costume designer. And tell me, what period does this show take place This show takes place in the 1960s. What makes the 60s like a fun era to design costumes for? What is best about this show is that we get to have this great look of business being in buildings that are dowdy and well, still a bit bright. Yes. But then there's this pirate number and we get to be really mod and really fun, go go boots and oh. sparkles. Well just looking behind me, I'm already thinking I gotta come see the show just to see what these costumes are all about. Uh, the show is uh, coming up this weekend. It is a must see. I, anything I ever have seen that CCP puts on always makes me just feel, it's like exhilarating. They have this energy. It's because they're young students. They're so good. They're so great. We have to take a quick break, but when we come back, James Green is a grocer, a country grocer. How fun is that? And uh, we're going to give you another little sneak peek of the show, so stay with us. Next, James on the job, CCPA student. Uh, remind everyone of the show that's coming up this weekend. How to succeed in business without really trying. The dates? April 25th to 27th, and tickets are available at the McPherson Playhouse. And why should they go? Well, let's just show them. Go to your mark. All right, I'm going. <laughs> Thanks for watching Go Island.